Hello everyone, welcome to Pencool Math Mania. My name is Captain Is123 and today we will be working on ascending and descending order. More than, less than and number patterns. Firstly, ascending order is placing numbers from smallest to largest. Look at the numbers shown. Let's put them in ascending order. So we will start from our smallest, which is 1140. Next in line for our smallest number would be 2289, followed by 3320, then 5467, and finally 7150. We did it! So we went from this lineup to ascending order, starting with our smallest. Let's move on to descending order. Descending order is placing numbers from largest to smallest. So it's the opposite of ascending. Let's look at these numbers shown. So let's see if we can put them in descending order, meaning we have to start from our largest or our biggest number, which is 9,535. Next in line for our largest number would be 8,152, then 6,220, followed by 4,678, and lastly, 2,178. We did it! So we went from this lineup to descending order, starting with our largest and ending with our smallest. Now, let's move on to more than and less than. The sign for more than is this. And the sign for less than is this. The more than sign is used when a bigger number is placed before a smaller number. Let's look at an example. This reads, 53 is more than 10. The less than sign is used when a smaller number is placed before a bigger number. Let's look at an example. This reads, 12 is less than 69. When there are questions with number sentences, we just work out the number sentences on either side before we can choose the correct sign. Let's look at what that means. 23 added to 31, is that less than or more than 35 added to 20? So let's work out the sides first to decide which sign we use. So on the left side of our sentence, we have 23 added to 31. Let's add that together and we get 54. On the right hand side, we have 35 added to 20. When we add those numbers together, we get 55. So now our question looks like this. So which sign do we use? 54, is that less than or more than 55? Correct, it's less than, so we must use the less than sign. This would read, 54 is less than 55. The other two signs you should know about are the equal and unequal signs. The signs are used between numbers just like the more than and less than signs. For example, look at this number sentence. On the left hand side, we have 10 multiplied by 3, and on the right hand side, we have 12 added to 12. Are these two equations equal or unequal? Well, 10 multiplied by 3 is 30, and 12 added to 12 is 24. Therefore, on the left hand side, we have 30. Is that equal or unequal to 24? It is unequal. For our last topic, we're going to look at number patterns. A pattern is a repeated arrangement of numbers. Generally, a pattern shows a relationship between two numbers. If we have a pattern with missing numbers, we have to figure out what the repeated arrangement or sequence is. Example time! Complete the number pattern and fill in the missing numbers. What is the repeated arrangement between these numbers? Well, what did we do to number 1 to get 3? If you said add 2, you're correct. And then 3 added 2 gives us 5. 5 add 2 gives us 7. Which means that the pattern is that we add 2 to the number before to finish the pattern. So 7 add 2 gives us 9 and 9 add 2 gives us 11. In order to figure out any pattern, first figure out the related arrangement and then apply to all the numbers in the pattern. You learned so much today. Ascending and descending order, more than, less than, equal and unequal signs and patterns. 
Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pentacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.